you know, you don't just do neurosurgery, you are a neurosurgeon. You breathe it, you live it, you think it day in and day out. I started developing an interest in neurosurgery in medical school. I found that neurosurgery was very exciting and I loved working with my hands. Uh, I love the beauty of the brain. I know it's a terrifying prospect to think about brain surgery. I'm trying to advance the field by developing minimally invasive approaches and using technology in a way that enhances outcomes. Since I became a neurosurgeon, many different things have changed. Not only are we better able to address complex, deep problems, such as brain tumors, that we weren't able to do before. Uh, we're able to do it less invasively with less impact on the patient. But in addition, the same technologies allow us to communicate what our plans are to the patient in ways that can be easily understood. The 3D simulations we use now prior to surgery don't just help the surgeon plan a minimally invasive operation. They help the patient understand what they have and why we're proposing various different approaches. Neurosurgery is all about incredible detail. On the morning of surgery, while I'm scrubbing, I stop and slow down before each case. And uh, although I'm not a highly religious person, I say a little prayer to myself that God will help me to take care of this patient. There's no one who has become a neurosurgeon who has not devoted their entire life to it. And in so doing, I devote myself to my patients.